Cooler Master Neptune Series CPU coolers are available in a variety of radiator sizes to perfectly suit your next build. Click now to learn more. So I figured what better way to do a video about a product that no longer exists than to bring back a format that no longer really exists. Welcome to the first retro unboxing that we have done in probably about a year. Today, we have a BFG Agia PhysX processor card. Yeah, dog, check this thing out. So, game programmers can design content for the Agia processor where every object can smash, bounce off, deform, or shatter any other object. This thing's from like 2007, guys. We're talking back when BFG actually still existed. All right, what else? What, how else do they sell this, this frequency? Yeah, BFG is proud to offer true lifetime warranty, free 24 hour, uh, seven day a week tech support. Uh, good, good luck to me if, uh, if I was gonna try and go ahead and redeem any of that stuff right there. All right, this enables incredibly realistic game environments, tens of thousands of realistic smart particles, accelerated real time physical motion, frees up precious in-game CPU cycles for additional gaming or non-gaming use. And they've got a list of like games compatible the problem is that this was probably pretty much the complete list of games compatible with PhysX at the time. So most of the newer viewers there, while I, while I go ahead and open up the box, most of the newer viewers are probably only really familiar with PhysX in the context of NVIDIA PhysX, where it's a function that's built into the GPU, where it uses its CUDA processing in order to accelerate physics calculations, whether it's fluid simulation, um, particles, objects bouncing off of each other, or deforming realistically, or whatever else. But this, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, is how it actually all got started. NVIDIA acquired Agia back in in 2008, um, shortly after there was all this speculation that Agia was going to succeed. Like here, if we pop open the front of the box here, introducing the Action Accelerator, Physics by Agia. So this, this was how Agia envisioned this whole thing. We'd have the CPU to be the brain, Intel AMD, see they help us out with this. They'd have the graphics processing unit, the eyes, NVIDIA ATI, now AMD, and then the PhysX processor. They wanted this to be a dedicated device that was gonna exist in every gaming PC to accelerate physics. And you know what? They actually got pretty close. I mean, Dell even released a notebook that featured a dedicated Agia mobile. I think it was, what was it? The, the 100M or something like that? I have notes, because I can hardly even remember any of this crap. So so yeah, it was the PhysX 100M for laptops, and they even managed to get Dell to integrate that. And then months later, boom, Nvidia snapped them up, uh, supported the this PhysX card for a little while, and then eventually moved all that functionality onto the GPU. But let's take a look at what a PhysX card would have looked like. It had no I/O. So just a, just a plain blank IO shield, not even any branding on it or anything, although that might have been nice. On the front, we find 128 megs of GDDR3 memory, so that's going to be based on DDR2 technology. We've also got a simple aluminum heatsink that makes direct contact with the core, held on by simple push pins. That was pretty standard in those days. And then it does need external power, so we've got a four pin Molex connector back here that they actually go ahead and provide a splitter so that you can reuse this connector for yet another device. Actually, not a very smart way to do that. The interface, get this guys, is PCI. So you, that probably tells you about how much bandwidth the card really needed. And then on the back, you can see all the connectors for that custom processor that was on there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, oh, hold on. Better not remove that sticker, kids. Because if I do, my warranty will be invalid. Yeah, we better watch out, watch out for that. So basically, what's, what's changed with PhysX? Well, okay, NVIDIA took it over. They, they took it under their wing. Um, it has, has Agia's goal been achieved of having PhysX sort of pervasive in games? Not yet. I think probably the most discouraging thing to me is if you check out the Wikipedia list of all the PhysX games uh, that are hardware accelerated, because PhysX is actually in all kinds of games on the PC, on even mobile, where it's just using the technology and then using CPU acceleration but actual hardware accelerated physics is is still about as uncommon today as it was even back in 2008 2009 2010 when it was first getting off the ground and we haven't really seen a game that's integrated it very deeply since 
well, really, I mean, sell factor. I mean, you'll, you'll have things like the cape sweeping around realistically, or you'll have things like some really interesting effects in the Borderlands series that aren't enabled without Fizz X, but we're really still waiting for that killer app that comes along and makes physics an integral part of the gameplay where you can, you can really, uh, you know, kill or deter the other characters with, with, with physics movements. So, um, it was especially disappointing, actually, see, to see the Battlefield series move backwards in that regard with destructible environments and all that. So I think that's pretty much it. Thank you for checking out uh, my unboxing of the NVIDIA, or not NVIDIA, the BFG Agia Phys X card. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, check out the link in the video description to support us. You can buy a cool t-shirt like this one. Give us a monthly contribution so we can buy more relics like this to unbox for you guys. And uh, also, you can change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code, so we get a small kickback whenever you buy relics like this or whatever it is you buy on Amazon. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.